Before the 2010 reboot film, there was the original TV series on which the film was based on. Four Vietnam vets, framed for a crime they didn't commit, helped the innocent while on the run from the military. This American action-adventure television series were extremely popular at the time of release. It was filled with actions, guns and explosions, not to mention very likeable characters and catchphrases. The series ran from 1983 to 1987. George Pepard played cigar-loving leader of a renegade commando squad, Colonel John Hannibal Smith. Unlike the character he played, George himself didn't fancy cigars and preferred cigarettes, smoking up to staggering three packs a day. Just like the character he played, George himself joined the forces. He enlisted in United States Marine Corps in 1946 and even rose to the rank of corporal before leaving a couple years later. His acting career started slow and took a while to take off. In the meantime, he would take up a variety of jobs, such as radio station engineer, teaching fencing and a cab driver. His talent and good looks started to get him more and more acting jobs, finally securing his most famous film, Breakfast at Tiffany's, alongside Audrey Hepburn. However, it looks like the pair did not get along all that well. In an interview later, he referred to her as being cold and conceited. Pepard was married a total of five times and was the father of three children, two with his first wife, Helen Davis, and one with his second wife, Elizabeth Ashley. He later said in an interview, getting married and having a bad divorce is just like breaking your leg, the same leg in the same place. I'm lucky I don't walk with a cane. He overcame a serious alcohol problem in the late 70s, but unfortunately wasn't able to kick his smoking addiction until he was diagnosed with lung cancer in 1992. While receiving treatment for his lung cancer, he sadly passed away from pneumonia in 1994. Derek Benedict. He played character Lieutenant Templeton, Faceman Peck, who is often referred to as Faceman, or simply Face, due to his good looks. Peck serves as the team's conman and a scrounger, able to get his hands on just about anything they need, and is seen as second in command after Hannibal. Benedict is not his given name. He chose this stage name from a serving of Eggs Benedict. Looking at the menu, it says Eggs Benedict. I go, Dirk Benedict. Eggs didn't sound so good, Dirk Eggs, but I said Dirk Benedict. That sounds pretty good. His career break came in 1978 when he played the part of Lieutenant Starbuck in the movie and television series Battlestar Galactica. They reference Battlestar Galactica in the opening credits, where a confused looking face man spots a cyclone walking past. His most latest work includes a role of Jack Strange in the sci fi comedy horror film Space Ninjas, where he plays an eccentric TV host of a show called Stranger Than Fiction. William Dwight Schultz. He played the role of Captain Howling Mad Murdoch. He's a team's pilot and declared to be insane, and for the first four seasons of the show lives in Veterans Administration Mental Institution. Curiously, his first name was never disclosed during the five seasons of the show. The role of Howling Mad was Dwight's breakthrough movie, leading to more acting and voice acting roles. Schultz married actress Wendy Fulton in 1983 and the pair have a daughter Ava who serves in the Marines. He had a minor role as a German doctor on 2010 reboot film of 18 and his latest work include voiceover acting in 2018 LEGO DC comic superheroes The Flash.
Mr. T is an American actor, bodyguard, and retired professional wrestler and played the role of Sergeant Bosco Albert, B.A. Bad Attitude Baracus. He is arguably the best character in the series and has become a cult icon across the world. In the pilot episode, his character is described as mechanical genius with one of the worst conduct records in the army. He is known over the world by his distinct hairstyle, his gold jewelry, and his tough guy image. He officially shortened his last name to Just T in 1970, officially becoming Mr. Just like the character he played on the show, he himself was part of the forces. He enlisted in the United States Army and served in the military police corps. From a career as a bouncer, he went on to a career as a bodyguard and protected many well-known personalities, including Muhammad Ali, Michael Jackson, and Diana Ross, earning very decent paychecks, ranging from $3,000 to $10,000 per day. While participating in America's toughest bouncer competition, he was spotted by an actor, Sylvester Stallone, who helped Mr. T secure a role in Rocky III, although the original role for him was supposed to be an insignificant cameo role. Without any lines, he was cast as primary antagonist and that's where his catchphrase, I pity the fool, comes from. As born-again Christian, he stopped wearing his trademark gold jewelry after helping with the cleanup after Hurricane Katrina in 2005. In an interview, he said, As a Christian, when I saw other people lose their lives and lose their land and property, I felt that it would be a sin before God for me to continue wearing my gold. I felt it would be insensitive and disrespectful to the people who lost everything, so I stopped wearing my gold. Thank you for watching and stay safe.